Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm down. Oh guys, Philly Cuts with a channel update. I know I haven't done them in a while. I think my last channel update was about six weeks ago. Maybe more, maybe a little less, I'm not even sure. But I'm back. I wanted to let you guys know what's going to be going on with the channel. I'm enjoying a Sam Adams Boston Lager. A lot of you have been asking, hey Philly, how come you haven't been doing any beer reviews? I don't know. I just haven't uh, had the fancy to do some beer reviews. Um, until further notice, beer reviews will be on hiatus. So hopefully one day I will be coming back with some beer reviews. But in the near future, I wouldn't expect beer reviews. However, I think you should expect some more boxing fight analysis, both pre- and post-fight analyses. I'm probably going to be doing some work on the upcoming Chad Dawson fight. Um, boxing has always been something that I've enjoyed watching. I've never done it myself, but I've always been a fan of the sport. I think it's probably started since I was little, you know, watching the Rocky movies, which were great. Well, one and two were. But I just like the human element behind boxing. I love the stories, the politics, the drama. Uh, I don't want to say I love the crookedness, but I love that there's always these kind of political factors behind the makings of such fights between promoters and, and boxers. You know, I in real life, I like real life politics, you know, Republicans, Democrats. So it's kind of like a perfect blend for me, for Philly Cuts to enjoy boxing and I just I, I just like the sport I like how there's such uncertainty to it um, you know you try to predict a fight like I have in this last Amir Khan Danny Garcia battle I thought Amir Khan was gonna win knockout in eight rounds and boy oh boy was I ever wrong because Garcia scored a stunning in my mind a stunning fourth round KO of Amir Khan and the light welterweight boxing world is completely realigned. So, I don't know, I just enjoy that. I just enjoy that one good, one good pop and everything can change in that sport. Now, what I wanted to talk about as well, for my video game fans, for those of you who are still out there, uh, the Wii U, and there was an interesting article yesterday actually from GameSpot one of the top gaming websites in the world uh, about web Wedbush securities analysts sorry I'm gonna be looking here this is kind of a more informal video but web Wedbush securities analyst this guy what's his name here Michael Pactor has issued some harsh criticism about the potential future success of the Wii. And he just, you know, unabashedly said that this is going to be a flop, that it's not going to work, that, in fact, Nintendo was pressured by big gaming companies, such as Activision, to develop a more traditional controller, like this, like the Xbox 360 controller, as you can see, which which Nintendo did do, and they did reveal that at E3 this year. Um, so Activision pressured Nintendo to do that because these big-time developers, you know, the Call of Duty, Activision people, do not want to have to deal with the special needs that the Wii U tablet-type controller will present for them. Well, maybe that is true. Maybe it isn't. But I don't think that that necessarily spells doom and gloom for Nintendo Wii. Interestingly, this same analyst, this Michael Proctor, or Pachter, said that the Wii, you know, the Nintendo Wii was going to be an abysmal failure. And boy, was that guy ever wrong, because the Nintendo Wii was the biggest selling console of this generation. So... Obviously, something, you know, is amiss with this guy's analysis. I'm, I'm wondering why and for what reason that GameSpot gives this guy uh, such prominent prominence on their site. There's probably some sort of connection between 
wet bush securities and you know maybe game spot that I don't know about but So this guy was definitely wrong about the Nintendo Wii. Now what I want to ask you guys is, what do you guys think? What do you think uh, the Wii U is going to do in this generation? I mean, it's going to be out in November or December sometime of this year. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I think that people get scared of change and people get scared of things that are different. Remember, Nintendo has always been an innovative company in the um, dedicated gaming console business. You know, especially with controllers. Like, look at what I got here. I have a Nintendo 64 controller. And this controller was huge for two reasons. Because originally, let me take this out of here. But originally, when it came out, it was the first dedicated um, gaming console device to have a uh, analog stick that was, you know, at least successful. So they were the first to do that. And then I think a little bit after the, you know, the system came out, maybe a year or so, I could be wrong. Someone correct me. I'm not, you know, I'm not pretending to be Christ Almighty in game console knowledge. So if someone knows, please correct me. Uh, then they came out with the battery-operated rumble pack. You guys remember this? It actually took AAA batteries, two of them, and you would load it into your controller. Like aliens, yeah. Like you were going to load like a, like bullets into a gun, you know? Like, and do battle. That was Nintendo. So they've always been innovative with controllers, and then, you know, obviously... The, you know, Wii U motion controller design, you know, so that both PlayStation and Microsoft, in my mind, copied or tried to copy, you know, with the Kinect and the Move. The Move being, in my mind, a dismal failure, especially after Sorcery came out. And that just sold like crap, and it turned out to be a very bad motion control game. You're just doing this, doing this the whole time. And it was supposed to be like the pinnacle of PlayStation Move gaming. Um, so I don't know. I don't know why this guy is so hard on Nintendo and his forecast. So just knowing that this guy, you know, forecasted that Nintendo Wii, you know, the first one, Nintendo Wii was going to be a failure and it turned out to be the biggest success of this generation's console market makes me wonder, like, why should I even value this guy's opinion? You know, Michael Pachter. Why should we even listen to this guy? And I'm probably not going to. I think it all depends on what the price point is going to be for this console. I think as long as, you know, maybe the core unit and that first, you know, Wii tablet, Wii U tablet controller, you know, if they can release this for 300 bucks or at the most 350 bucks, I think it should be fairly successful. And I'm eyeballing it. I'm thinking about getting it. If it comes out at 300, I think I'm definitely going to get it. As long as the games are still priced at 60 bucks, I'll still get it because I know that people were posting things on, you know, from game what stop or Jesus. Yeah, GameStop, that games for this Wii U system were going to be like $99 or something. I, there's no way. There's no way. This is a Neo Geo. You know, as long as that remains the price points for this thing, I think that I'm in. I think I'm all in. Um, however, if they tried to pull, you know, PlayStation 3 when that first came out, and it's like five or six hundred dollars, and then maybe it's another two hundred for a second tablet controller. Then, you know, forget about it. I'm not even gonna. There's no way I'm not gonna pay that much for a dedicated console device. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I really want to know what you think about this. Uh, do you like the Wii U? What are you thinking about it? Um, I know that at E3. The Wii U was kind of 
surprisingly, I thought Nintendo was the worst out of all three. Out of the big three at E3 this year. Um, I probably I would have picked Sony as the winner. Only because, you know, they came out strong with some, you know, good gaming titles. Um, and I was just amazing at how mute, muted the message was for this new Nintendo U console. But, you guys, let me know. Let me know what you think. And, uh... Thanks for watching Philly Cuts. I'll try to get some more gaming stuff up. Uh, as you know, I have my other website, Onu Retro Gaming Cuts. So check that out as well. I have a, uh, a couple new completed playthroughs up. Dead Space 2. And I'm going to be working on Shadows of the Damned. I might even play tonight. We'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace.